Hey guys, John with Alfred Homesteading. So today I've got to take a little break for a second. Um, our washer, a little Samsung washer. The, uh, this unit just started not uh, fully spinning yesterday and it was, well, for a little bit of time here, it was just letting us know it was maybe out of balance or something. So I got to check the springs, make sure everything's okay, nothing's broken. So I'm going to do that here for a little bit and then I'll get back to our other project. But this is a uh, Samsung front loading. Samsung front loading VRT um, clothes washer. So let's go ahead and get to it and see what the problem is. Okay, so first reason it couldn't drain is because there was ice in the lines. This uh, adapter plate here that's underneath the, uh, the washer itself, um, that was all basically filled with ice as well. So, kind of hard to drain when you got something like that stuck up your throat. Okay, so this is inside the Samsung front loading washer. Here's a model number. WE357A. 7W slash XAA. So when I first got this machine we were having all kinds of problems because these uh, shocks that were here were actually disconnected. Uh, actually the shocks were fine but there's another one over here. Okay, There's another one in the front of the machine. Can't see if you can see that or not. There's another one in the front over there, and then there's another one, if you just might be able to see it, right there. Okay, so that's your front right one, and over here, it's like your front left one. So you just have to make sure wherever they attach to the washer, they're not uh, uh, broken, because um, these points up here, over here could potentially uh, these screws and stuff come off. The thing that was a problem with our machine when I first got it <coughs> was at the top here these springs during shipment when we got it here put it in the vehicle um, one of these had actually come off. I don't remember if it was this one here or um, this one down here. But you can see how this little piece was sort of cracked off and it wasn't holding it properly so I just had to bend this um, this clip a little bit more, put it back into that hole, suspend this, and then it uh, seemed to work okay. Okay, so everything up here looks pretty good. Uh, I just have to come down here and get the rest of the ice out of our um, little deal that pumps the water out. So that's going to be my job here in just a little bit, de-ice that whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and use a, just a bit um, to kind of not to destroy anything, but just to reach in there and try to scrape some of this stuff out. Another piece just came out. Okay, so now I feel we got ice way back over there. So next step, see if we can release this, this hole. 
deal here. Looks like it feels like it's got ice in it. Ah, the joys of off grid living. Yep, this is all I see in here. So that's why you can't drain. Looks like in our next iteration of having a washer, and we'll need to go inside our facility. Zoom out a little bit. Put this down. just disconnected this back hose before it goes into the pump. I'm sure the pump assembly is uh, got ice in it too. So just got that out. Got that much ice out of this hose back over here. The ice is out of there. All right, moving right along. We got ice in the main chamber. The main drain for. Tub. If it's not draining, it could be frozen. I'm gonna keep working on that, put it back on time lapse so I can get my hands free to finish this up. Let's see what happens. Um, well, it's been cold here and we need, you know, today's a nice uh, sunny day. So what we wanted to do is get our uh, washing and stuff done. But the problem was it's been cold in the teens, uh, below 30 um, for a week or so. And uh, the challenge was our, our uh, exhaust port or the uh, drain lines from the washer ha had ice cubes in them. Uh, ice uh, cylinders all the way through. So I had to clean all that out today. Uh, hopefully that will restore the function of the draining. And I uh, hope that helps you. Take care.
If you like our channel, subscribe and uh, hit the bell if you want to be notified every time we send out a video. And uh, talk to you soon.